good to see you. Today we're back in Walmart and I have to do a little bit of shopping. I brought my list. I actually remembered it this time. Um, and I thought we could just shop together. I'm starting out over here on the um, analgesics aisle, pain relief and stuff. I don't have it on here, but I remembered when I walked over here that I need some ibuprofen. Um, so you have these, you can get these two packs. You can get the capsule, the little caplets or the tablets. Um, and then they have the bigger bottles here. I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get one of the two packs of the caplets. <clears throat> And that's my first item and it's not on here and I actually I wrote down Alteril but what I meant to say because see I've started using this this helps me sleep at night um, it's called midnight and I really like it a lot of times though um, when I come in here they're out so I might actually get two of these I was using Alteril this right here um, but it's kind of expensive. This is only, I think this is only 30. It has 60 tablets, but I think you have to take two at a time. But it's $17 and it's some, um, I, I went ahead and tried the Midnight one time because they were out of Alteril. And I actually like this just as much. So I, I really do find it helps me go to sleep better. So I'm gonna grab some Alteril there. And I have my Sharpie. I mean, I'm gonna grab, I think I said Alteril, Midnight. I keep saying Alteril, I don't know why. All right, um, <clears throat> I need some alcohol, some, not like to drink, I need some isopropyl alcohol. I um, <laughs> somehow ended up with greasy fingerprints all over my laptop and I read somewhere that um, you can clean them with a 50-50 mix of alcohol and water, like put it in a spray bottle or on a cotton swab or whatever. Um, let's see, I don't care, let's see. I don't need one that big. You can mix it half and half with water and, uh, and just wipe it on the, the prints, the fingerprints and it'll clean them off. Because I tried, um, I tried a paper towel with a little bit of soap and water on it, and it didn't, they didn't come off. So I'm going to try the isopropyl alcohol on there. I don't think anything else is over here. This is the first aid section here. They have, look at all the band-aids, my goodness. We have some, we have a remarkable selection of, of band-aids. Look, you can get waterproof ones, you can get the variety pack the extra large ones, fingertip band-aids, hydro seal, it's just, it's crazy. All the, all the little products you can get and you know, they have the little character bandages and stuff. Where was that stuff when I was a kid? Let's see. Heck, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's see. I have a pin cap in my mouth. <laughs> all right. Um, cereal, cat food, classroom snacks. That's for my younger son's teacher. Um, they've had a complete change in their schedule and now they go to lunch a lot later for some reason. So she said it might be a good idea if they had a little snack like mid-morning and then we need milk, hot dogs, orange juice, and dry cleaner sheets. Now all that stuff is, is way over there so we need to head that away. This cart is, it wants to turn left so bad it can't stand it. They actually have a little bit of Valentine's Day stuff left. Look at that, 75% off. You can get a unicorn bag. It's corny how much I like you. A scary looking SpongeBob marshmallow pop. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, there's a, oh, it's a Tyrannosaurus balloon missing his stick. Well, whatever he is, he's 75% off. I think that's all they have. And then, so we're heading into the Easter season, but right now they just have 
like coffee makers, uh, microwaves, but they've already started putting out Easter stuff. Look, they have some uh, whatever this stuff is. It's kind of weird the stuff you find at Easter. Like you can get a giant bubble wand. And a lot of this stuff I think is um, it's stuff that you can put in an Easter basket. We have little treat containers, things like that. Um, and so you can actually just like, you can make your own Easter basket. You can get all kinds of little stuff. And then they have little Easter baskets like this. That's kind of scary. It's like, like Teletubbies frightening. I don't think it's quite on the level of Teletubbies, but it's close. But look, they already have out the Easter eggs. We're going to look at all this another day. But Lord, look at that basket. That's gigantic. <laughs> you could tote coal in that thing. All right. I'm having to pull my cart from the front because it keeps trying to go that way. Oh, the Cadbury cream eggs. These things are gross now. I don't know what they did to them, but they're nasty. Look at that giant lollipop. Good Lord, that's huge. That's awesome. And we'll look at that another day. Let's, uh, let's move this way. Oh, they've got Easter pigs. Look at the Easter pigs. Oh my gosh, okay. Sorry, I'll move. There's a whole, like a, wow. We got a whole pallet of Easter. Look at that. Oh boy. Look at that. That's a whole pallet of, whole pallet of chocolate. And we've got, oh. This is about the fifth or sixth one of these. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at these little socks. Look at the St. Patrick's Day socks. Oh, these are cute. Look, this, oh, these are long socks. These are knee high socks. That's all right. <laughs> okay. My son loves these pants, these mesh pants. They don't have any of his size. That's a bummer. They've started putting out, um, oh, look at the cute backpacks. Oh my gosh, okay. They've started putting out the spring clothes for the kids. You have your... Oh, look at the little suits. Little three-piece suit. That's that's not bad for $21.44. And they've put out the flip-flops. Look at all these flip-flops. These are actually kind of cool. And the little... Oh, my kids love these in the summertime. These sandals like this. Oh, they do. You have your little water shoes. Now is a good time to buy these in, in Walmart in Walmart or Target because these get gone, my experience is. If you don't get them now, it's going to be hard to find them later on. So I may actually go ahead and get some pretty soon. Boxes of stuff. It's early in the morning here, so there are not a lot of customers, but there are a lot of people putting out stock. Look at the pantyhose. Hey, they've moved the pantyhose. They didn't used to be here. Okay, now we're heading over. Here's some stuff for $11. I don't know what we got here. Ooh, long dresses. These are like Pentecostal dresses. <laughs> They're kind of cute, but it's not really my thing. Ooh, bathing suits. I need to get my older son a new bathing suit. Well, I'll look at those later. Okay. Oh, look at the Snoopy and Woodstock little hoodie. Oh, it's like a pajama hoodie. That's cute. Oh, oh, it's very soft. Okay. Now let's take, let me stop here for a minute and look at my list. All right. Cereal, cat food, classroom snacks, milk, hot dogs, orange juice, and dry cleaner sheets. Let's, um, how about we go look at the cat food? I need some canned cat food. I've got dry food. I need I need wet food. These are the men's pants. There's the UNCG Spartan. I have a degree from there. All right. Here we have baby formula. Lots of baby formula. Harvest would be so proud. Um more baby stuff, but the cat food. You know what? I need cat treats too while I'm thinking about it. Let me see. 
It's mostly employees in here right now. All right, now let's see. First you have the cat treats. They have them in different sizes. You can actually get these gigantic containers. And I always, well not always, but a lot of times I get the Temptations treats. But I find if you buy them in these giant containers, they get a little stale. Yeah, I don't like to buy them in these big containers because they get stale. Even these, it seems like by the time you get down to the end, the cats are just kind of over it and they don't want them anymore. Um, now, Evie will eat any of these. She does not care. She will buy any of these. And we have all different flavors. You have like Sunrise Scramble, which has chicken, egg, and salmon flavor. Tasty Chicken. Um, the only one Pumpkin likes is this one. The, uh, the Creamy Dairy flavor. She loves these. So lately, um... I keep, I always try to keep one bag of these because she loves the creamy dairy flavor. She won't eat the other ones. Um, and Evie does not care. She'll eat any of them. But I also keep a, another flavor just to give Evie some variety because she doesn't care. <laughs> she will eat just about anything. <laughs> All right, now for the wet food, usually I will get the Sheba wet food. Sometimes I will get the giant pack. But today, I think I'm just going to get the, the little one right here. Now, here's the problem I always have. Look, it won't come out because the shelf is too low. So I'm actually going to have to pause this, lift the shelf up, and get it out. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I always get nervous when I do that. I'm afraid the whole shelf is going to fall or something. But um, every time I get those, I have to do that. <laughs> So here we have Sheba Perfect Portions, and I got the cuts. They also have pate, but this is a variety of roasted chicken and tender turkey. And I, what I do, if you look at how these things are made, you have two little packs here, and you can, it's perforated, and you can break it in the middle. And I give them one in the morning to share, and one when I get home from work to share. So um, that way, that way they get some in the morning and at night. All right, let me just leave this thing open. I'm just gonna perch it right there. My coat's black. If it gets on it, it's not gonna matter. Okay. All right, so we need cereal, classroom snacks. Now for classroom snacks, um, I like to bring in stuff and his teacher said they were running low on snacks. Um, and the school doesn't provide extra snacks. They do, they do provide lunch, but not extra snacks. Let's see. I was just trying to think. I think I'm going to get granola bars this time. Uh, last time I think I, I think last time we did granola bars and uh, something else. I don't know. I'm definitely going to get granola bars, but first, let me come down here and see if I can find the dry cleaner sheets. Look at, look at all the detergent. It's just a world of detergent over here. My God. And, and it's a world of Febreze. Look at all the, <laughs> we're some stinky people. Look at all the Febreze and the Airwick essential oils and God, I don't, I don't use that stuff. A lot of it irritates my allergies, so let's see. The dry cleaner sheets are down here somewhere. Yeah, here they are, right here. Now you have different kinds. You have, Woolite is the one I usually get, and you get, um, how many are, there are six cloths in here that you can use separately, and these work really well. Um, but they also have dry L. Um, I've never tried that one. That, um, the wool light is $8.88 and you get six of them in there. And I do have some clothes that I use these on. Um, and they're really easy to use. And I really like them. They work. They work really well. So that's dry cleaner sheets. If I can mark. I'm not left handed. I'm trying to mark. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Growing up, I was the only person in my house that was not left-handed. It was really... I know how left-handers feel, man. Everything in my house was for left-handed people. Um, all right. Let's, um, 
Let's go get milk since I'm kind of over that way. Look at all the bleach, my God. Okay, and on the end cap, we have more detergent and fabric softener. Attention, woman associate. They keep making announcements, I'm sorry. It's really rude of them to, you know, run their business while I'm in here. A lot of people don't understand that. You know, they're not going to stop just because I'm in here. <laughs> they don't care that I'm in here. Okay, here we have milk. All right, so you have chocolate milk, um, and then regular milk. You have skim milk, 1%, 2%, and the red and white ones are whole milk. Um, I usually get 1%. And if you don't like 1%, like if you think it's from the devil or whatever, you don't have to tell me. It's okay. Um, if you don't like milk at all, that's fine too. You don't have to drink it. We drink milk at my house. Okay. I get a lot of people that have a problem with stuff I buy. Now cereal, I was not specific because I want to look at it. I also need orange juice. Orange juice. Let's see. What kind of orange juice do I want to get? Now, I really like, I really like the Simply, the Simply Orange, but look how much it is. It's $3.54 for this, which I think is a bit much. Um, a lot of times I will get the this Homemaker Premium. It's two twenty eight. dollars Let's see. And I want the one with no pulp. Let's see, this one has pulp, this one doesn't. And it's, it's good. I mean, it's fine. Um, it's the same size as that. Actually, no, it's not as bigger. This is 50, this is 59 ounces. Yeah, these are 52 ounces. Anyway, every now and then if they have this on sale, sometimes they'll have it for 250 and I will, I'll get it for that. Okay. Uh, they're having a refrigerated section emergency over there. I don't really know what's going on, but we're going to move on. Okay. Oh, vitamin water. Smart water. Isn't that a beautiful bottle? That's so pretty. It looks like glass. You have cheese over there, yogurt. I need to go look at the hot dogs. I ha actually have hot dog buns, but I don't have any hot dogs. Here you have your bag shredded cheese. Which is always yummy. We have all different kinds. You can get the bigger grated pieces um, like this. This is just shredded and they also have finely shredded, which is little shreds of cheese. You can get sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, Fiesta blend, Colby and Monterey Jack. This is making me hungry. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast yet. Here we have organic sharp uh, shredded, sharp, uh, sharp sharp cheddar cheese, parmesan, mozzarella. I mean, I gotta get out of here. This is really making me hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. And you can also get the individual packs of cheese sticks like this. And so they're individually wrapped. You can get um, pepper jack, mild cheddar, sharp cheddar. I mean, it's just crazy. And of course, string cheese. Lots of string cheese. Breakfast breaks. And then we have block cheese. Look at this block of cheese. Holy moly, look at that. You could kill a dog with that thing. Then we have Lunchables. I love these little portable protein packs. These are, I mean, they're kind of expensive, but I kind of, I kind of want one right now. Okay, but that's not what we're here for. So then we have lunch meat. Don't need any lunch meat, I'm good there. Well, we have a wide variety. I mean, look, look at all the lunch meat, my God. And you can get huge packs of it too, like this one. That's um, a pound for $4.97. And then you can get the individual, the, the bags of lunch meat. All right, hot dogs. I usually get the Hebrew National hot dogs. They're kind of expensive, but they're they're really good. I like them. And my kids like them too. So, hot dogs. Okay, now all I have left is cereal and classroom snacks. Um, okay. And in the middle here, we have these um, 
little compartments here like you can get this is pimento cheese which I showed y'all in a sandwich making video um, a lot of people didn't know what this was it's made with um, imitation oh god pasteurized process imitation American cheese and salad dressing vinegar egg yolks salt pimentos god they have chicken salad coleslaw it looks kind of green why is it so green i don't know and so you have a lot of different things now over here we have cereal the cereal is only on the right side and then on the left side they have canned fruit pop tarts kinds of stuff my kids got burnt out on pop tarts they um they're not eating them so I actually quit buying them we have several boxes in the in the cabinet that they haven't touched so I quit buying them oh this is new look pop tarts crisps oh now that's different I'm gonna get one of those I'm gonna let them try that this is brown sugar sin amazing we'll try that Okay, um, now over here, we're going to look at the classroom snacks like granola bars. Uh, let's see. Like, I thought I could get like one of the mega packs here of granola bars. Let's see. Oh, they have granola cups. I don't know what that is. They have protein meal bars. Um, Nutri-grain breakfast bars. Let's see. How about we get one of these? So that has 36 of the oats and honey bars in there. We'll get that one. Um, and how about some of these chewy granola bars right here? Now that's 24. These have 25% less sugar. Maybe we'll go with that. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, let's see. Now, these are the um, great value ones up here. Let's also get, okay, this is a mega pack that has peanut butter and oats and honey. Um, maybe I better, well, I don't know, peanut allergies. I'm thinking maybe I better not get that one. There are several kids in his class that have peanut allergy. I don't want them to grab one of those by mistake. So let's get, um, how about we do some of the Nutri-Grain breakfast bars? We'll get one of the big packs, like the strawberry. There we go. Okay, so we have that, that, that. That'll do the classroom snacks. And now I just need to look at cereal. Okay, now cereal is a whole other story, like, okay. I have Honey Nut Cheerios already. I don't need any of those. But that's about all I have left. Normally I have a bunch of different boxes up on top of my refrigerator, but now I think basically all I have is one box of that. Um, well, I know that they like this stuff right here, this chocolate crave, which is really like having a dessert for breakfast, but I don't care. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles has been around forever. I remember when that stuff came out. It is good. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of cereal. Love, love cereal. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna pick one more. What else should I go with? How about... Hmm, let's see. We could do Fruit Loops. Let's do Fruit Loops and get the family size of Fruit Loops. The Happy Toucan on them. They also have Fruit Loops with marshmallows, which I think is just going a little overboard. I mean, these are bad enough. <laughs> but my, both of my kids have been sick off and on for the last two weeks. It's like whatever they had goes away and then comes back and then goes away and comes back. It's really weird. <laughs> They just can't seem to get over it, and their appetite has just been practically nil for the last week or so. Okay, I think that's it. I think we got everything. 
cool. Okay. Look at all these choices. My goodness. And you do have the more healthy stuff down here. I mean, you come down here and you can find like oats and honey and, you know, from Cascadian Farm. And they make all kinds of different types of cereal. And then Kashi has their stuff. And so it's not all chocolate frosted sugar bombs. I mean, you can get, you can get healthier stuff. And I probably should, but I don't know. Honey Nut Cheerios are all right, I guess. They, um... They like these. That's a little box. Look how thin that box is. God, that's tiny. Um, you can also get, you can get these in packs of two for $7. It's a little bit cheaper to get it that way than to get the, I usually just get the family size. I mean, I don't know. It is a little bit cheaper to get them that way. You could get frosted mini wheats in all different flavors. I don't see my favorite. I love the um, the chocolate frosted mini wheats, but I don't actually see those. They even have a Pop-Tarts cereal. This is new. Huh. That's pretty cool. Brown sugar cinnamon. Ooh, chocolate peanut butter Cheerios. And they have strawberry Pop-Tarts cereal. They even have a Dippin' Dot cereal. Can you believe it? They have it in banana split and cookies and cream. Somehow I just don't think it's going to taste as good as actual Dippin' Dots. And you can get an Oreo cereal, <laughs> Sour Patch Kids cereal. It's crazy. It is so crazy. I love to come over here and see all the new stuff every now and then. Ooh, that's just, that's a really cool artistic looking box. Chocolate Blasted Shreds. Sounds like the name of a punk rock band or something. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate. Oh, it's peanut butter chocolate blasted shreds. That's a bit of a mouthful. But just chocolate blasted shreds totally sounds like a band. Fruity Pebbles, you turn sideways. Fix yourself. There you go. Cocoa Pebbles. Oh, Lucky Charms. We have Fruity Lucky Charms. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's pink and has the little mar marshmallows and we have french toast crunch chocolate toast crunch we oh this is new cinnamon toast crunch churros i've never seen that one and yeah then they have the bigger boxes down here you have frosted flakes you can get the two pack there for seven dollars oh cinnamon frosted flakes chocolate frosted flakes honey nut frosted flakes that I bet is actually good. I bet I don't like that. I like just regular Frosted Flakes. They even have, Lord, they have banana cream Frosted Flakes. They're just getting a little overboard with the flavor on these things. What is this? Leprechaun Trap. Okay. He's creepy. I don't care what anybody says. No, I'm sorry, Stan. He's creepier. It's like Gandalf on acid. Look at him. No, honey smacks. I remember when they used to call these sugar smacks. It's the same thing. They just named it honey. They renamed it honey smacks because sugar smacks sounds less healthy. And we still have the unicorn cereal, which my kids didn't care for, so I didn't buy it anymore. I thought it was okay. I can't even read this. Oh my God, they have a they have an Overwatch cereal. I have to get this. My son, my older son loves Overwatch. I'm getting him Overwatch cereal. <laughs> I don't know what's on this dude's head. That's crazy. Yeah, he's a, he likes Overwatch. So we'll get that. Okay. Well, I got a few things that weren't on my list, but at least I managed to get everything that's actually on there. So that's good. That's excellent. So I'm going to go pay for all this and get my milk and hot dogs home and my orange juice and put them away put the snacks near the door so I can remember to have my son take them in tomorrow morning for his class. So anyway, I think, I think that's everything. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed looking around the store a little bit and I will see you again really soon.